In principle, an entire program can be instruction by instruction contained in one single block. For example, the organization block OB1. This is referred to as a linear program. This type of programming, however, has the disadvantage of not being clear, hence prone to errors, huge programming requirements, and increased memory requirements. The Step 7 block concept is predestined for the structured realization of this task. For processing the blocks, which control a technological or functional unit, they are called successively or stacked in an organization block. After they have been processed, the program automatically jumps back to the return address in the calling block. Step 7 offers you different block types for encapsulation of your subtasks depending on the application. As shown in the preceding section on the execution system, the organization blocks are the interface between the operating system and the user program. The main program is generally located in the cyclically called OB1. For example, OB1 calls the technological unit of the first conveyor belt. This subtask has been realized as function block, FB for short. A function block can be parameterized flexibly and has its own memory in form of an instance data block. This data block, DB for short, is created by the program editor in an instance on first calling the FB and is primarily only available for this FB for data exchange. The result of calculation and logic operation of a function block can therefore be dependent on the status of the current call parameter and on the status of stored data from earlier cycles. In a function block, further blocks can be called. An example is the task of displaying and processing error signals with a reusable function. A function, or FC, is used for programming frequently recurring automation functions. It can be parameterized and can return an optional return value to the calling block. Functions generally do not store any internal information beyond their runtime. They only communicate via their input and output parameters. System functions or SFCs are parameterizable functions integrated in the operating system of the CPU whose number and functionality are fixed. In this example, the current system time can be read from the operating system of the CPU via an SFC. Similar to the function blocks, there are also parameterizable system function blocks, or SFBs, integrated in the operating system, which on being called only need to be supplied with an instance data block. Structured and type-coded user data can be stored in data blocks. There are two ways of realizing the application of data blocks. As a global data block, which can be used as free data block by all other function related blocks, and as instance data block, which is always assigned to a function block and only contains the local data of this block call. After the program of the first conveyor belt has been processed completely, all further plant parts intended for execution are successively called in OB1. Identical plant components, such as a further identical conveyor belt, can now be processed by simply calling the same block with other I.O. parameters and a separate instance DB. This way of creating the user program illustrates how simply, clearly displayed, execution and memory optimized, Reusable programs generated in the same or in different projects can be generated with blocks.